Mandera County is located in the northeastern part of Kenya, bordering Ethiopia to the north, Somalia to the east, and Wajia County to the south. According to the 2009 census, the approximate population is about 1,025,756 people with an estimated area of 25,991.5 square kilometers. The county consists of six sub-counties, Mandera West, Mandera South, Mandera North, Mandera East, Banisa, and Lafe. The polio eradication project implemented in all the six sub-counties of Mandera reached a population of about 441,859 persons. Mandera as a county has got unique problems compared to other counties in the country. Considering the county's uh, train and there is problem with transportation, insecurity, and we have got the worst indicators, especially immunization. We were at 27% in 2016. And considering this problem, we had a lot of serious outbreaks of vaccine preventable disease. According to the World Health Organization, the Horn of Africa region has the largest pocket of underimmunized children in the world, and it is estimated that the number stands at over 1 million children. Considering these problems, Co-Polio Group has now planned and has given a pleasure to support us in preventing these diseases. Co-Polio Group have been implementing their project activities through ADRA and uh, they have assisted us, contributed their contribution in five areas. One of them, they employed and recruited community mobilizers and community volunteers. My name is Alan Shah Abdullahi. I'm community mobilizer. I was from Ramudim to Health Center. I tell my community the importance of immunization and health education. Challenges, uh, transport, transport, I use a motorbike for um, a lot of people. Uh, it needs uh, transport. We have no means to go to Mahali to find outreach. That's how, that's how we cut the end of outreach. I always, uh, I always take a bike from another people. So the challenge is a lot. Cases of such deaths do not come to the health facility. They end up in spiritual leaders and the community mobilizers and community volunteers have been very helpful to us. We come from the facility to immunize the pastoral community around the catchment population of this facility. At one year, according to the national guideline, the child can complete the immunization at one year. But because of the nomadic lifestyles, uh, we have gotten a child which have never get immunization and have reached uh, four years. I have seen a, child, a mother who have attended an ANC at Gider uh, Health Center. Because of the pastor, they have uh, moved around. She has delivered on the way and we have gotten her child here in this uh, center now. And we have given her child immunization. But she has taken an ANC at Gider Health Center, which is very far from uh, this place. This is a Gagaba pastoralist community where we are providing mobile, mobile immunization services. As you can see behind me, these are one of the sites organized by community volunteers from Gagaba dispensary. They were giving immunization for the normal pastoralist communities. They were called from all the nearby settlements and they converge here and then they they were given immunization from Gagawa dispensary. The second support was conducted outreaches, especially in cross-border health facilities. 80% of the population are nomads and reaching a health facility was a challenge. Uh, we are at Gagawa dispensary. Gagawa dispensary is one of uh, the three dispensaries located along the Ethiopian border. Uh, where we conducted uh, an outreach services, uh, immunization is very low at the sub-county and equally at the facility level. Uh, 
through the intervention from ADRA since May this year, a lot has been done through the outreach services, through sensitization of uh, AFP cases, uh, and uh, immunization coverage has been, has been boosted. We went to an outreach site around uh, 10 kilometers from this facility where we are able to immunize uh, uh, quite a number of children, majority of them who have never got immunization. A child as old as five years, six years, four years, children have not been immunized and we are able to immunize. She's called a uh, heroin person. She, she has a 10 days old child which was a hot spot which she gave birth just in the rural part of Gagaba. So the kind of uh, children who norm, child who normally miss a lot of vaccine, uh, vaccine. As you can see, she is now 10 days old, which was remained with four days. So she was very lucky today as uh, other mobile teams, which we support through the co-polio co group to get her bath polio today at the Gagaba Pastoralist through the mobile teams. Polio vaccination processes have always been faced with countless challenges, especially in the border point of Kenya. These include inadequate resources, low staffing at public health facilities, influx of persons from the neighboring countries, as well as inaccessibility due to poor infrastructure in roads and mobile communication networks. Welcome to Aymore Health Center. I am uh, Nuro Abdullah, a facility in charge of this health center. Uh, this center has a catchment population of uh, 32,297 and the uh, total under five is 6,559. This program is uh, covering hard to reach area. So in this center, we have six border crossing the point and we have a border which is just some two kilometers. Another area of support was capacity building of health staff, whereby Co-Polio Group has supported in capacity building on health workers on vaccine preventable diseases and updates because we are having new vaccines which have came up, the rota and the injectable polio which has came up and it has assisted in capacity building of health workers and updating their microplans. The other area of support was supportive supervision for the supervisors at the county level. The supervisors were facilitated by ADRA through co-polio group and they had an opportunity to go to the health facilities whereby they trained the, the health workers at the health facilities and this has really assisted our health workers on the facilities where there is a problem and at least now they are competent. Children very far and in security places whereby we cannot reach them with immunization and there is no health facilities. As you know, our county, most of the health facilities are vast. And it's about 100 to 80 kilometers from one health facility to the health facility. And according to the WHO standard, facilities are supposed to be within five kilometers apart. Co-polio group has been very supportive in this area. Those are the five areas of which Co-polio group has been assisting and we have really appreciated in terms of immunization coverage. Thank you so much. We also do have uh, initiatives uh, for cross-border interventions. 
that we are we work with people along the other side always planning together coming together and uh, uh, strategizing on how to intervene in case of an outbreak or prior to the outbreak and in report in case of any case detection uh, any fp case is detected we normally meet quarterly uh, plan and see what is uh, the level of awareness to the community and both sides today we met over the cross border health initiative and uh, this cross border health initiative today we have met somalia uh, together with their partners, the Gather region that is bordering us and uh, us as Mandera County. And the reason we're here together is to share information on diseases that can be spread along, uh, you know, the borders, not only polio, but all diseases that can be spread, uh, you know, along the borders. And here today we don't have Ethiopia with us, but we have Gather region of Somalia and Mandera County, and we are discussing on how we can heighten our f surveillance in both sides so that we can coordinate and ensure that diseases are not spread. And most particularly, uh, you know, we contribute to the global initiative of eradicating uh, polio. Uh, I'm here to participate in a kind of a coordination meeting between uh, Kenya and Somalia uh, ministries of health. Uh, that means uh, when it comes to outbreak, there is always kind of communication and uh, coordination among uh, concerned. Uh, most of uh, our staffs, who at least some of our staffs who are who man these 22 health facilities, have been trained on the surveillance safety issues. Together with also community health volunteers, have also been trained, have been inducted, trained. At least they are in better position now, they are more better equipped now to respond to surveillance activities. The main uh, objective of the project is to eradicate polio within the uh, county. So the project is designed in such a way that we do polio social mobilization, uh, community based mobilization, uh, case detections, supporting the uh, health workers in uh, identifying polio cases. And then uh, what we are doing is uh, we are upscaling the immunization, the routine immunization in the facilities, making sure that uh, all children uh, from birth comply up to the 18 month schedule of immunization. We are working across the two borders, the facilities bordering Somalia and the facilities bordering Kenya. The project is really being uh, welcomed by the community and the stakeholders in Mandera County. Thank you.